Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and I am so mother loving excited because today I'm going to do a full in-depth review of the new Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection The System review. I also did a little bonus like light easy, you know, full face to complete the look, but this one is all about skin. I'm really excited about it because I feel like on Instagram like we're very used to wanting that like super full coverage matte foundation and we don't think about our skin as much so I feel like this foundation is super new super innovative Pat McGrath is the freaking queen of skin I've been very blessed and honored to see her skin up close backstage in real life and it's the most beautiful skin I've ever seen so this is 30 years in the making of this foundation so I feel like we're all mad blessed and super lucky to be able to take home her skin secrets and wear it every day if you want after we go through the foundations I'm going to do this tutorial Tutorial, but I was sent a few shades of the foundation and I told the Pat McGrath team that the deluxe fam comes in all colors of the rainbow and is very multicultural very diverse so I'm super freaking excited because they sent me the whole collection to swatch so if you want to see your shade in comparison to mine, I'll let you know which one mine is. But I'm like hella stoked because I'm about to swatch all 36 shades. So it comes in 36 universal color choices, which I think is amazing. And when I was able to go to her masterclass in LA, a lot of the artists only take 12 to match all of the models. So if you're down to like, you know, mix and match a little bit, or if you just want one that's just for you, she has 36 shades. If you're a makeup artist, you could probably get away with having the 12 or the 10 or Whatever. That's how I started. We used to have to mix everything, but it's a really beautiful range that gives you beautiful, youthful, healthy looking skin. So I'm gonna go through all these things. I'm also gonna do the 36 swatches. Very excited about it and super stoked to show you the formula. It's a satin finish. I'm gonna say more stuff about it in a moment. I'm gonna get into 36 swatches, so stay tuned. This is what the box looks like in the bottle and this is the only foundation I've ever had that I've actually kept in the box. So you'll know which one's my shade because it's a beat up box because I've been taking it everywhere. So let's get into it. So it has 36 universal color choices, five shade levels, custom curated for all skin types, tones and undertones, sheer to medium, buildable coverage. But I will say when I was in LA at that master class that I'm so happy I went to before I did this video because I learned so much about the foundation. But like I saw one of her team members like, first of all, this is something I've seen Jackie Ina do a bunch of times where she puts powder first and then foundation. He built it up to like full bulletproof, full coverage foundation by layering the powder foundation, powder foundation. It didn't roll, it didn't get cakey. It still looked beautiful, flawless, more matte, but you can build it a mother F up. And with that being said, I don't want you guys to think that, oh, I need full coverage, I have terrible skin, whatever, like, or I need full coverage to be able to slay. Like, honestly, the way that it perfects your skin, I feel like it's almost like a sheer veil of, you know, deliciousness that makes your skin look like it has that editorial supermodel skin without having so much on. I don't like the feeling of heavy makeup, and a lot of time I mix my foundation, and this is one of the very few foundations I've ever had that I've never had to mix, so. so so it's infused with a Vita Serum Complex. I don't know what that means, but I know that makes my skin look very young. Just hit 30 last month. This hella nourishing formulation is supposed to fight the formation of wrinkles, which doesn't matter how old you are, slow it down as soon as you can. As you can see, like there are really beautiful undertones in each shade range. And I'm also like reading some of these things because as a consumer, I'm just like, wow, my skin looks young and juicy. But there are words here that she uses to explain the science behind this amazing formula that we've all been waiting for. So let me tell you this word that I can't read. So it's called Oh, hydrolipidic. <laughs> I knew that all along. Okay, so hydrolipidic film barrier on the skin to boost hydration. Oh! But, sorry, I'm just reading this. This is so tight. No wonder my skin looks dope. So it's supposed to boost your skin's hydration by activating the natural production of hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Yum. 
Oh, diamond core powder technology improves skin texture optically smoothing and blurring the appearance of lines and imperfections. I can attest to that. So this is also formulated without parabens, talc, or fragrance. Doesn't smell like anything. I know that fragrance can be offensive to a lot of people's senses or skin. And I have to tell you, I'm allergic to a lot of foundations and I was like really praying every single day that I wouldn't be allergic to this one and I'm absolutely not. I feel like it makes my skin look really smooth and for sheer to medium buildable coverage I've been able to get a full beat down with really nice glowing skin I don't know if I've ever had a foundation match so well either we're also gonna go into the primer as somebody who never uses primer like never I use like liquid highlighter or whatever mixed with my moisturizer Pat McGrath has come out with a beautiful primer that I can use it doesn't roll up doesn't ball up nothing so the skin fetish sublime perfection primer it's supposed to prime smooth high Hydrate. Makes your skin look like super duper silky too. In the video, I'll show you my pores like hella up close with and without. It's like a super smoothing, skin refining, delicious soft like butter primer. So one other pro tip that I got from her was that if you have super oily skin, you can skip moisturizer because this is moisturizing and still get a really hydrated look and you're still feeding your skin with all that it needs without adding so many layers. So if you have oily skin, just skip right to the primer, skip the moisturizer, do your eye creams or whatever, and then go into the foundation and freaking bomb. So it's actually infused with hyaluronic acid. Everyone's raving about that. And it's like a super major moisture magnet. So it helps to keep your youthful qualities, which is why I probably feel like a 16 year old girl right now, you know? Which actually helps with your suppleness, elasticity, tone. And it doesn't feel like anything on the skin. Like I feel like I have nothing on. I don't have to worry about touching my face because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. So this one's available in five shades. It's like a super luxurious, soft, blurring powder that you can make super matte, but if you're super dry and you don't want to look aged, which is what I find with a lot of powders, this is a good way to kind of blur and give you that like luxurious, silky touch that will set your makeup without it looking cakey. And again, you can really layer it with the foundation to get that super full mother loving coverage that you might need sometimes. So it's like the ultimate finishing touch to set makeup for flawless lasting wear. Super weightless, super buildable. Like as somebody who doesn't wear powder, I don't feel like I have powder on. Sometimes I get really tight and I feel very wrinkly under my eyes after powder. And she says it takes your look from divine to sublime color. It's super flexible. Like I said, you don't get that dry, tight feeling that makes you feel old. If you're super oily, you can really layer it on. It builds up the bomb. This is also without parabens or fragrance, so yeah. So we've also got two brushes here. Obviously, I just used them to beat this face. I'm a finger girl. I know Pat McGrath is a finger girl too. I've seen her do it. But she's created this like really beautiful, dense brush to kind of buff in your foundation. I actually buff in my concealer with this one, but I've been using it to do my concealer instead of a sponge and it goes on gorgeous and it mixes really well with the foundation. This has actually been tested backstage. I've seen it. It's really great to get into controlled areas. It's small enough you could contour with it, cream product, whatever. And this is really good to help buff in products. So it's got kind of these very fine little furry tips that feel almost like a sponge without absorbing all of your product and it's really good to kind of buff it like this to get a really sheer veil or layer it by stippling it and it doesn't give you those streaks or any type of dots or whatever that you get with the brush. So even when this is wet, it doesn't all stick and clump together like a lot of brushes like this. It stays really fluffy and smooth, which I like. Next up, we have the Sublime Perfection Powder Brush. So this is the same, it feels like the same type of hairs. So this is a little less dense. So I actually did my contour, highlight, and powder with it. I love that you could just dust on a small amount. Um, it really helps to pick up product evenly, easy to dust off like that, so you're not putting like a ton of product on. Even if you bake, you could pull up a lot and then, you know, tap it underneath and then use the same brush to kind of lightly whisk it away. It's dense enough to get, you know, snatch stuff up, but it's soft enough to buff things in. So let's dive right in. So first up, I'm gonna start with the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Primer. I love this primer, especially for someone who doesn't wear primer. I really do see a difference on my pores and the moisture in my skin. Skin. As I said before, you can totally skip moisturizer if you have very oily skin, but I have dry skin, so I use both. 
but it's the business and this is what it looks like just on bare skin so if you just wanted to like step out with blurred perfected youthful looking smooth hydration then uh, please wear it on its own Next up, I'm going to use the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, and I personally really love to use it with my fingers, obviously, but you can kind of go in with one layer. It is light to medium coverage, so if you just want a really, you know, quick, light coat or layer, you can just massage one layer in, whatever. But I'm going to do two layers, but it's nice if you let it sit for a second. So I'm just going to massage this in. You can add another layer if you want, but it just kind of melts into your skin and transform into your skin. like the color range is genius there's no funky colors like every single shade has a purpose so I'm also going in with the light medium 14 to use as a little bit of a highlight now if you wanted to be real extra you could put powder over this let it set and then put another layer you could actually build it up to concealer but I just wanted to show you what it looks like as a highlight because it'll give you that really fresh dewy skin look which is what I want for this, you know, skin fetish look. I'm gonna highlight the highest points of my face, so center my forehead, center my nose, around my mouth, you know, blending it in, and I'm using the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation Brush. Then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of cream concealer and just go in the under circles of my eyes and just on my lids to hide any veins I have on my lids and any darkness. Not really doing my full beat down highlight because we already did that with the other foundation. I was very naughty last night and kind of fake my face, shouldn't have done that. So a little extra concealer right here. And I'm gonna go in with the medium deep 22 again, which is my skin shade. And I'm gonna do another layer on top because I want that radiance and I want a little bit more coverage. So this is going from more of a light medium to a medium to full if you want it to be. But look at that, I don't have perfect skin and it's looking delish. Next up with the Light Medium 2 Sublime Perfection Setting Powder, which really gives you that barely there finish. Like I said, I never wear powder, but this just kind of lightly coats it. You can still have your radiance, which is why I'm gonna use the Deep 4 as a bronzer. So even if you have very light skin, you could use this, but I would just use a layer of the other powder first, which will dilute it a bit, but it'll give you a really nice sun-kissed glow. I didn't set my whole face because I really wanted the powder to deepen on my skin it'll deepen if it hits something wet and I'm also going to use a little bit on the sides of my nose using very little because it can be very pigmented if you want it to but I'm just letting it do a nice little contour but it gives you that really perfected you know natural glow next up I'm going to do my brows just giving them a nice quick comb up because I'm about to spockify these babies using a gel cream I'm going to do little swipes in the direction that the hair grows and then pull it out hella far to lift my face and give it that beautiful beautiful snizzatched look that I like, you know, to each their own. And I'm gonna fill it in anywhere I see fit. Then I'm gonna snatch it up with some of the foundation mixed with my concealer so it's not too bright and just kind of blend it in. Next up with my Favy Wave, this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Highlight Trio. And I'm gonna mix all three together. I wanted to just give a nice three-dimensional highlight to go with our very dewy skin look. I'm also gonna take the bronze and the pink shade and just highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Like I said, we're doing a mad quick eye. I just thought, I mean, you might as well complete the look instead of just having it just skin. I'm gonna take the Mothership 5 palette and I'm gonna go into a transition shade. I'm just gonna warm up my crease right quick nice and easy same with underneath my lower lash line I'm gonna take the dark matte brown and just do a little little wingy poop just to angle out my eye shape a little bit nothing too crazy keeping everything about skin today but this is like a really quick and easy eye that you could do if you just want to get out the house and have your skin be the star I'm gonna take that beautiful bronzy pink glowy sparkle shade. I'm just gonna tap that on with a finger all over the lid just to kind of blend it in. And that's like a real quick eye that you could do if you wanna slay the day and not have to worry about nothing. Next up with the Fetish Eyes Mascara, I'm gonna do a nice coat on the top and bottom. Finish it off with a little bit of lash. And I'm gonna finish it off with the Flesh Astral Lust Lip Gloss by Pat McGrath. Just as a nice little quick, you know, loving on the lips. So first of all, that was my first time I'm seeing the full lineup of foundations. I was swatched for my color and then because it's summertime I've been tanning since we did the freaking shoot. 
which I'll get to in a second. Um, I got a little deeper, so those are the only ones that I've swatched. I don't know if I've ever seen a foundation line that's ever made more sense. To be quite freaking honest, I feel like there's literally something for everybody. It's super inclusive. I've seen Pat McGrath do everybody's skin backstage and it doesn't look like one model was left out. Even on boys, like everything is like a beautiful no makeup makeup look. So you can achieve that with this foundation or you can have like that super done up, ready for the gram makeup full beat if you want to. I'm kind of loving this more medium coverage. Usually I like to be a little bit more medium coverage and then touch up where I need to with concealer. You'd be surprised at what foundation does and that's why I love to put it first so that you can see anything that it doesn't cover up. You can either do a little powder and put more of the foundation or you can just put a little concealer there, but in the video too, I like use the foundation in a lighter shade as a highlight. I'm medium deep 22 right now. When I did the shoot, I still get a little freaking butterfly reel when I think about it because it was honestly the greatest shoot I've ever had in my whole life. Hair by Guido Palau, makeup by Pat McGrath, and it was directed by Steven Mysel. Like honestly, I am super blessed and honored because I was actually the first ever YouTuber, Instagrammer, beauty influencer to ever be shot by the freaking legendary Steven Mysel. It was such a cool experience. Basically, it was a closed set, so only you and the photographer and his team were in a certain room that was like soundproof. But the whole day was amazing, working with the stylist, the hair people, Pat McGrath's team, like everybody, it was just like super good vibes. I low key get like anxiety whenever I do a shoot and like freak out. But this shoot, I don't know what happened to me, but I was just having the time of my life, like joking around with everybody. I was like totally calm, like it was a big deal. And I'm like, if there's any ever a time to like not have a meltdown, now is not the time. I totally did it on the way home because I couldn't believe something so amazing happened to somebody like me, hello. So I just feel like super honored and blessed that I was able to be a part of the campaign because I never saw that for myself. I'm such a crybaby. And I always cry when I see Pat McGrath, loud and clear. I brought 10 wigs with me to see which one I wanted to wear and I asked them what they wanted me to do and they're like, just be you, we want Sandra Deluxe. So I was like, wow, this is so cool. Like, I'm gonna go do something and I'm not being a model, I'm being myself. And I don't know if I ever felt so encouraged and so supportive ever on a shoot in my whole life. Anyways, so I was running around the set, having a good time. I accidentally flashed my friend T, who does the videos, and I was wearing just like undergarments and I was like wearing a robe and I did this like ridiculous flash. And then Pat McGrath was looking right at me and I'm like, oh. And she started laughing and I was like, okay, I could just be like a silly person here. Anyways, really cool to meet the other Pat McGrath muses. I can't believe I'm one of the seven muses. Like what? Like what the heck? It's really cool when people see you greater than you see yourself. And I think it's like a true testament to never get in your own way and feel like you're not anything special because it could be blocking you from receiving how great other people might see you and that's what I really experienced because I feel like as an artist we get emo when I get in my head and it was just cool to be celebrated as myself and to be a part of something so huge so I mean I'm like a humble person or whatever but I also got a freaking little you know little right up in Allure magazine I got mentions in Vogue UK and Vogue US what the heck if I told my depressed teenage self that this was gonna happen, I'd be like, get out of here, you stupid. But it actually happened and I'm like freaking out about it and I still can't believe it's real. And Steven Mysel, like what? I'm just a regular girl, man. Anyways, it still makes me freak out. I wanna show you, you should have seen me the whole day. I felt like I was floating. I don't even think I was walking. Everyone was floating. Steven Mysel, mother freaking flipped my hair and touched me, shook my hand, I gave him a hug. Same with Guido Pamagrath, like Joe McKenna, like hello. And of course, just be, being a makeup artist, I've been a fan of Pat McGrath for so long. And just to be able to have communication with her, to talk to her, and, and then to be a part of something like this, like, I don't know. I'm trying to keep it together right now because I did my makeup and I don't want to cry because I'm kind of a crybaby, but I'll definitely probably took a little 
tear moment after this video, but I'm really excited to share this with you. And fangirl aside, this is like actually a really dope, really dope foundation. I'm excited to see it in the beauty scene. I feel like Instagram has shifted a lot of things in the makeup community. I feel like she kind of gives you a little face tune, a little youthfulness in real life with this. So I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Every time I've seen her in the past, I've been like, so like, are you coming up with skin or like what's good? Because I always see her do these beautiful skin things backstage and she's super known for skin. So this is like a very exciting time for myself as a makeup artist and I can't believe I'm a part of it. I'm gonna have that for the rest of my life and I'm really excited about it. So without further ado, I won't blab. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you some little behind the scenes and a little freak out moments and I hope you enjoy this review and little makeup demo. So thank you guys so much for watching again. What? Thank you so much to Pat McGrath for including me in this campaign and also being one of your muses. Like I'm so thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you to Pat McGrath. What? Pat McGrath Labs. Congratulations on the new launch. Very excited. I got a little puppy here that's sitting on my lap and he's like very tired. And I'm like, I'm talking about foundation. He looks like he's like a medium 20 or something like that, you know? Like his shade maybe. Maybe a medium 21. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, follow. Love yourself. Stay pretty. And love yourself like an opening for other people to love you too. And so that other people can love themselves around you and stay pretty even if you don't believe it be it because you is and i'll see you guys again in the next video take care this is my best friend and i love him so much anyways take care